ready? Yep. All right, go. Good afternoon, my name is Jim Simon. I'm with Rutgers University with the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station, the Rutgers Cooperative Extension Service. You see that I came out to the field with a mask. This COVID-19 is very serious, and this is why we're doing the annual tomato taste test virtually, remotely, rather than in person. For the last 10 years, we've hosted our basil table. So when people come in to see uh, the different types of research that Rutgers is involved in, including the research that we do, which is the development of new culinary herbs, spices, and medicinal plants. Um, you get to taste some of, the, some of the products that we've been developing. But since 10 years ago, sweet basil, which normally was easy to grow, was devastated by a disease called downy mildew resistance. When growers reported to us that they were having problems, we began to dive into it. And I've been, plant bre I've been breeding basil for a lot, of, a lot more years than the 10 years. And we found that all the commercial basil were susceptible. And if you get this downy mildew, many of you that are basil growers at home have seen this soot on the underside of a basil leaf, a yellowing on the top. The plants tend to collapse, they could die, but you certainly don't want to eat it. And so for the last 10 years, we've been developing new varieties that are resistant to this disease. They're not immune. So in the perfect weather, which is really high relative humidity, a lot of rainfall, you get some disease specks, some spores coming out. But in general, both home gardeners, most of you on the, in the audience, and commercial growers have found that the Rutgers new downy mildew resistant basil lines have stood up in New Jersey conditions really well so that you're able to get a really good crop. Commercial growers will grow the basil and they'll use sprays and controls, either conventional sprays or organic controls. And it helps mitigate against the disease spread. We have four different lines, Rutgers Obsession, DMR, Rutgers Devotion, DMR, Rutgers Passion, DMR, and Rutgers Thunderstruck, DMR. That's a different story about how the, where the names came from, and in a different video we'll talk about that. But the basil is really easy to grow. You'll enjoy it, and if you were at Snyder, and we hope you'll be there next year, you'll come and you'll taste the different downy mildew resistant basils we have, and we try to compare it to the commercial ones. Last year, at Snyder Farm, we couldn't harvest any of our commercial varieties that were not the Rutgers releases because they all died because they all had too much downy mildew. So I had to cough up $100 at the local store and buy store-bought greenhouse basil in order to compare. But I, I hope that you'll see that the basil is really pretty, it's attractive, and if the weather stays good, you'll be able to keep growing and cutting basil for another two months. Remember, as basil begins to flower, these are the flowering spikes, if you just pinch off the flower, it'll just continue to flower. So take some scissors and cut it off a little bit deeper, and then the plants will branch out and grow bigger. So you'll be able to enjoy your basil for another one or two months. However, at Snyder, what we are doing is we're looking to develop even new varieties that are downy mildew resistant. We're looking to introduce the downy mildew gene using regular conventional breeding, by the way, not genetic engineering, to introduce it into Thai basils. Now we have a field with some really promising, beautiful Thai basils, with gorgeous purple stems and flowers and the, and the nice beautiful shape but with that licorice taste and aroma that you would expect of a Thai basil. So I, um, we're hoping that myself and our graduate students, Rob Matera, Laura Brindisi, and my fellow faculty member who's been doing this breeding with me, a plant pathologist, Dr. Andy Wynott, will be able to, in 2021, 2022, have a whole series of new Thai basils too that are downy mildew resistant. That is one of the projects of many that we work at the Snyder Farm. We try to work on, on projects that create solutions to you as growers or home gardeners. And when you come to us with problems for us to try to solve. Anyway, that's all for today. Enjoy, good eating, good gardening, and see you next year.